Hello, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use map tools simply for your virtual tabletop. I often hear that map tools is very complicated and give it a miss, but this is going to show you how you can simply run a VTT using map tool. So the first thing you want to do is head over to rptools.net and download the version for you. If you're using Windows, you download the exe here and start map tool. This is your main screen. You have the main area where you will place your maps and your tokens. You have a chat area. Mine is over here to the left hand side and you have a library. If these aren't showing up for you, just head up to the window and click on library and chat to make sure they're selected. Now, the first thing we want to do is add some maps to our battle map. So we need to find some maps. So what I suggest is that you head over to Reddit to either battle maps or D&D maps and look through here and there's loads of free maps here available for you and you can search through them and find one that suits you and download it to your machine. Once you've downloaded it, what we're going to do is we're going to drag the JPEG or the PNG into map tool and the first thing I need to do is set the background to make sure on the background layer and we're going to drop the map onto the background layer just so and there we have our map the first thing you want to do now is, is if we switch the grid on by pressing ctrl g you'll see the grid is a different size to the map so we need to address that so right click to make sure snap to grid is off and then what we're going to do is let's move the map somewhere nice and easy we're going to right click click auto resize and we're going to put the crosshairs on one of the intersections and we're going to left click and drag it across and let's get a nice area here that lines up so when we release we can fill in the number of horizontal cells which is six and the vertical cells one two three four five is five click ok now when we switch our grid on it might not line up but if we press Control shift and a and we drag it across you see now that the map will line up nicely there we go close that so now our grid matches up precisely with the grid underneath i can press ctrl and g and get rid of that map now the next thing we need to do is put some tokens on there so to get some tokens there's some free tokens available with map tool go up to file and add resource to library and click on the bottom icon and this will give a list of all the free icons there and the one you're looking for is called Devin's Devin's Knights icons I've already got them installed so you click on them click install and they will appear here on your left hand side so let's have a look here grab some characters and we're going to drag and drop them on to the map now first thing we need to do is switch back to is switch to the token legs but on the wrong layer so switch to your token layer and we're going to drop them onto the map it's a pc this is john give it a name and we'll make it visible to players by ticking that and click ok there is john and we'll drag one more across drop them on this is jane pc visible okay so now we've got two players on and if you notice if you left click on them and drag them they follow the grid we've set so that's nice next let's drag some thing on for them to face we'll drop some goblins on so let's uh, get some goblins we'll scroll through here oh we've got some orcs maybe orcs and goblins that's the ones we want so We'll drag some of them on here. So let's drag some down here. NPC, that's okay. We'll drag some down here. There we go. If you want to duplicate them, we can right click and copy. And then just hold our mouse and press Control V and it'll paste some more for us. There we go. So there we've got our players at the top and we've got some foes for them to face down here. Now, if you want to add another map, we just go to map new map we'll call this one space and background we'll have it as black Click okay and now we've got two maps and you can select your maps at the top right hand corner so we've got space 
and grasslands. And if you notice that each map has got grey hashes on them, that's because the maps have not been made visible to players. So with this map, let's make it visible to players. We go to map, player visible, that now disappears. The other thing we're going to do now is add fog of war. And we do that by map, fog of war, and you'll see now that it goes all, all uh, dark at the top, but as a GM, you can still see through. Through the players, if the players see, all they can see is black. Now we need to share this game with our players. So we go up to the file menu, and as a GM, you click on start server. And you put your username and set yourself as GM, leave the port as it is. And then you want to make sure the use UPnP is ticked. This will make it a lot easier to connect. The RP Tools alias is the name of your game. This is set up with grasslands, so we'll call this um, battle test. There we go. So that's the, the name, that's the play, game the players are going to join. We set our GM password and we set a password for our players. If you want other GMs to join, you give them that password. Make sure strict token ownership is unticked. Click OK and that will start the game off and you are now hosting the game. For your players, your players will come up to file, connect to server and they will put in their username. The password that you've set in this case, it was beta and the server name was battle test. So you either put that in there or you scroll down the list and pick it from there, click OK and the players will join your game. And as I said, they will be joined at a blank screen. Now, all you need to do as GM, it's nice and simply, if you want to re reveal what they see, click on the fog of war tools and left click and drag an area, left click, drag across, and left click again, and that will show an area now. And that is what your players can see. So if we switch the, to the player view, all they will see is that area there. And as they explore a bit more, you can do the same again, left click, drag across and clear any areas. If you want to cover an area up, hold the shift key, do the same and that will hide an area. So there you've got nice simple fog of war. And then when they reveal the bad guys, the bad guys are at the bottom. So there, there we've got our map, we've got some tokens and we've got some fog of war. The only other thing now is we need a dice roller and that is used in your chat window. Your chat window uh, can be at the left or sometimes when you start it, it's down the bottom here and you can drag it around and move it where you want. I like to have it over to the left, but you can have it actually where you want. And in your chat window, anything you type here, your players will see with their name and they can reply to you so you can pass messages on there. I would also suggest that um, when you're having your game that you use Hangout, Skype or Discord audio so you've got voice to, to each other and just use your chat for any messages in game or if you want to use a dice roller then we can roll dice in here that all players can see. So to roll dice it's forward slash R space and the type of dice you want to roll. So for 1d6 you type 1d6 press return and it rolls a d6. If you want to roll 2d6, 2d6 return and roll the dice for you. Same with your d8s, your d12s and your d20s. If you've got a modifier that you want to add, you can do that as well. So if your character has a modifier of plus one when making a roll, you can add plus one. It'll do a d20 roll and add the plus one. And there you have it. There you've got the simple game. You've got your maps. You've got your chat with your dice rolls and you're up and running with very little problems. Now, if you can't connect to the server, you've got networking issues. What I suggest you do is head over to the RP Tools Wiki. And over there, if you search for network, there it goes through all of this information here to try and help you run through how to set your network up. You may have to set port forwarding up on your router. If you search for port forwarding and your internet provider, that will give you a page on how you can do that. For me, it worked fine, strict with UPnP, your mileage may vary. 
So if you want to see any more videos like this, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. And um, I hope you find this interesting.